And good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. The committee investigating the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol has started their first public hearings. Tonight's hearing served as an opening argument ahead of at least five more public hearings. The committee heard testimony from police officers at the Capitol during the riots and many more hours of testimony are expected. The committee says they will introduce new evidence about what led a mob of then President Trump's supporters to storm the Capitol building. After the opening two hours, we're hearing from an Arizona congressman and the national GOP for the first time. News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live in studio with that side of the story. Eric. Sean, 17 months after the violent attack on the U.S. Capitol with just two weeks left in Donald Trump's presidency, we have reaction to this evening's hearing from a longtime Democratic congressman here in southern Arizona who was rushed out of the House chamber on that Wednesday with his colleagues to safety and the RNC, who says the focus now shouldn't be on the Capitol assault. In the first night of the hearings, the January 6th committee begins to make their case in prime time. Not only did President Trump refuse to tell the mob to leave the Capitol, he placed no call to any element of the United States government to instruct that the Capitol be defended. He did not call his Secretary of Defense on January 6th. He did not talk to his Attorney General. He did not talk to the Department of Homeland Security. President Trump gave no order to deploy the National Guard that day. Southern Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva said in a statement, quote, History will show that the January 6th attack was a fascist attempt to, by force and lies, overturn a legitimate election through a calculated conspiracy and a violent failed coup sanctioned by a sitting president. Insurrectionists and perpetrators of this attack on our democracy must be held accountable, prosecuted, and punished according to law. I urge Arizonans to watch these hearings and keep in mind that our democracy is at stake in the upcoming election. The communications director for the Republican National Committee says, quote, Pelosi's committee is partisan and illegitimate. Instead of investigating the radical who placed a pipe bomb outside the RNC's headquarters on January 6th, tonight's hearing is nothing more than political theater. Americans want Congress to focus on the most pressing crises created by Biden and Democrats. Record gas prices, the worst inflation in 40 years, empty shelves, and rising crime, not conduct a political circus in prime time. We'll have more on this first night of the January 6th committee hearings coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. The next two hearings are Monday and Wednesday of next week. They will start shortly after 7 a.m. local time. Live in studio, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.